this is John Cola with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you, and this one's going to be a quick one at that. What we're going to do today is show you three easy, non-toxic, low-cost methods to get rid of the aphids in your garden. All right? So, you know, I sometimes I use neem oil and Dr. Bronner's salsa soap. You can check my past episode on that for, like, the, the hard hitter. But I always don't like to come out, come out of the ring fighting, you know? I had to try to play nice <laughs> and then, you know, escalate as needed. So these are my first uh, ways that I like to deal with the aphids before I start getting out any sprays. So uh, step number one, uh, I want to show you guys what these aphids look like. There's like, they, they're, uh, in this case, they're gray, but depending on what they're eating, what plant they're on, they're going to turn different colors. I've seen them black and I've seen them red before. And uh, basically, they uh, show up on the bottom side of the leaves on many times. And then also, especially when the flower is, uh, when it's going to flower and setting seed, it really likes the young tender shoots to like latch into. And what the aphids are, they're little soft bodied insects that literally send their little, you know, fangs like a vampire into your neck. They're sending their fangs into the, into the stem of the plant or the leaf of the plant to suck out all the plant juices, all the nutrition that's supposed to be feeding the plant. So this will hinder your plant growth and, you know, can cause challenges. Although, you know, a few aphids here and there, not a big deal, but when you got a big outbreak like this, it, it can be a problem because they can, they're gonna multiply very quickly and spread to infect other plants, which we definitely don't want. So it's very important to keep them under control. So I wanna go ahead and give you guys a closer shot of what these aphids look like, and thanks to the advanced optical technology of Canon, we'll be able to do that. Checking out these aphids up close. Check it out. We could see them on there. Okay, we're gonna pan over. There you go, you guys see them? It's those, I got some wind here, but they're like on the stem and those all those little gray things on the stem there. So now that you guys see what the aphids are, easiest way to control them, number one, some shears. And uh, we're gonna go down to the plant, basically where they all are, they're on the top of the plant. We're just gonna cut off this whole section. That kind of does me a favor too because I want this plant, the dinosaur kale, to produce more leaves instead of, you know, uh, more flowers and shoots. Although I do let some go so I can save seed. Um, so we can simply just uh, cut off whole sections of plants and put them in the compost. And we're going to compost those aphids into a further protein for the compost pile. That's way number one. Way number two uh, is if you have it on, on leaves or even on the stems. You know, you got some of the best aphid smashers in the whole world, as I could do a lot of other things with my fingers too. Um, but we got aphid smashing fingers here, so we could simply find the aphids on the back side of leaves. And what I like to do is just literally smush them, man. I just rub my hand up on here, smush them all, and then I got aphid fingers. Mmm, <laughs> it smells like something I know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, smush them all. So, you know, these are the first two steps I may use to uh, rid my garden of aphids. Now, yes, this can take a bit of time. You know, it's not as easy as spraying some junk, but you're not spraying anything, and this costs you no money except some time. Hire some local kids to smash aphids. Um, but uh, the next step is another way I like to do if I have to escalate, if I have a big aphid challenge, if there's maybe some plants in my garden that have an infestation that actually I don't want to snip off. I don't particularly care if I cut off pieces of the dinosaur kale, but I do care about my tree collards, right? I, I want them to go to seed so I could save some seed because it rarely goes to seed. And so I'm gonna use another technique. So let me go ahead and uh, share that with you next. So the next technique we're gonna use is actually just is this guy right here. It's actually called the bug blaster. So what the bug blaster is, this is just a special nozzle that goes on to the end of your hose to spray high pressure water in a, in a special jet pattern that's literally gonna spray the aphids and blast them off the leaves and at the same time probably discombobulate them and uh, once they're off your leaves they're probably not going to be able to get back on. Uh, this guy is actually relatively inexpensive and uh, if you want to win one of these I'm doing a growing your greens giveaway. I think I have a handful of these guys to give away. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a video with you in the video hopefully in front of your garden if you have a garden currently and uh, you know tell me why you need the bug blaster, uh, you know, to rid the aphids of your garden. Like in the five best winners that I pick will win. So 
make a video about it and put a link in the comments below. I'll be sure to watch each and every one. And, oh, please keep it under five minutes long. So uh, how this works, very simply, we're gonna just go ahead and uh, take out of the package. But before I do, I wanna let you guys know it works on white flies, aphids, mealybugs, and spider bites. It also makes a great plant cleaner if you want that shiny look for your plants. I don't care how clean my plants look. I just want to be rid of the bugs. So uh, in here, it's just very simple. It's just a little nozzle attachment um, for your hose. And uh, I recommend instead of putting it on a hose, we have a standard um, like wand sprayer here with a standard you know rain pattern spray head. We're going to go ahead and uh, take this guy off. And we're just going to go ahead and screw this guy on. Nice and tight. Make sure you got the gasket in there so we're not going to have any leaks. Nice and tight. And now we're all ready to spray the aphids to heck. So now what we got to do is we got the hose here. I got the nice Craftsman rubber hose. This is the hose I recommend you buy because, you know, I hate those piece of junk hoses that you got to keep buying them because they keep wearing out. Makes your water smell and taste like vinyl. PVC, not recommended. High quality rubber hose available from Sears. Lifetime warranty. Nice stainless steel ends. They go on sale regularly. The 50 footer sometimes goes on sale for 20 bucks. And I think the 100 footer, which is what I got, sometimes goes on sale for 39, 40 bucks. You know, one time purchase lasts a long time. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, screw this guy on here. And I got a, a double on off valve here to prevent leakage. And uh, once again, we got that gasket in here. So this is what it looks like. I got a on off valve here, another on off valve here to ensure we don't get any leaks. And then now we can simply turn the water on and check this baby out. Oh, it's spraying! But it's not getting my camera wet that bad. <laughs> anyway, so now we're just gonna blast these bugs. Blast the bugs! Ah! All right, so I got a little bit crazy there. We got a little bit too much of water on the lens, not too cool. So I backed the camera up, and now we're gonna go for it again. This is on my, uh, green tree collards and I definitely want to try to preserve all the leaves and not cut any tops off it like my dinosaur kale because this guy despite going to flower uh, will go to flower set seed and then go back right to producing leaves for me to eat so we're going to turn this guy on and we're just going to go here and spray this guy down hopefully the camera won't get too wet this time and we're literally blasting all the bugs off we're getting that stream underneath the leaves above the leaves and all over just spraying water everywhere at the same time, you're foiler feeding your plants some water. All right, well, I think this is getting a little bit too wet for the camera here. We gotta go ahead and shut you guys off. But those are the top three ways I like to battle uh, bugs in my garden non-toxically. Number one, cut them off. Number two, smush them. <laughs> number three, spray them with a bug blaster. Maybe the one that I would go next to would be a beneficial insects before spraying any kind of, you know, even non-toxic, you know, products in my garden to control the aphids but then beneficial insects can get expensive and they may fly away this guy literally invest in once and you're gonna have it for years to come to blossom bugs in your garden <laughs> so to learn more about the bug blaster you're gonna want to check out the website thebugblaster.com so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode once again my name is john kohler with growingyourgreens.com we'll see you next time and remember keep on growing Blast the bugs! Ah! All right, this is John Cole with GrowingYourGreens.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. We're coming at you from a very special place in the world. Well, maybe not that special. We're actually coming at you.